guys, it's Shafia from Motorista.sg and right now, I'm at IKEA Tampines to go get some meatballs for lunch. And you know what's the best part? There's free parking here! And you know Singaporeans and free parking are like bread and butter, right? So I searched online for more free parking areas. You may never know, it might come in handy for you someday, right? So today, I'm gonna share with you guys the different types of free parking in Singapore. Thank me in the comment section later. Yup, this one has free parking for the whole day, man. Cool, right? I can just park here, shop till I drop, eat some meatballs, and I don't even have to worry about parking charges. But some malls, instead of free whole day parking, they provide free lunch parking from 12 to 2 p.m. And some provide free dinner parking from 5 p.m. onwards. So if you want to go for lunch or dinner, you can try and Google to see if they have any free lunch or dinner parking nearby. And check out the list of malls with free parking in the description box below. And let me know in the comment section below if I missed out anything. So besides malls, housing estates like HDB also provide free parking, you know. If that HDB is under a free parking scheme which is also called the FPS, then there's free parking from 7am to 10.30pm on Sundays and public holidays. Like this one. According to HDB, majority of their car parks have FPS. I repeat, majority are not all. So you still have to read the signboard at the entrance of the car park. Keep a lookout for the orange signboard at the entrance of the car park for the free parking timings. Oh yeah, in most public parks like East Coast Park and Mount Faber, all these right, they also provide free whole day parking you know. Cool right? Who knew Singapore got so many free stuff? And some public car parks provide free parking after 5pm or 10pm. Car parks that are free after 5pm are usually in non-residential areas like this one. Since there's a lot of eateries here, probably the government is encouraging you to eat dinner here. So that's why they provide free parking during dinner time. And one example of public car parks that's free after 10pm is the Newton Circus Food Centre. That's like encouraging you guys to eat supper. And if you're at a private estate area, there's also places to park for free. Besides the garage lah. You see on the road at the side here, some got single straight line, some no lines at all. So if you see single yellow straight line by the side, or no line at all, that means free. But for single yellow straight line, it's illegal to park between 7am and 7pm, except on Sundays and public holidays. It's only free after 7pm. But take note ah, you cannot park at the side if the centre line is a white unbroken line, and along bends, narrow roads, and near intersections. Speaking of lines, you know there's this hotspot free parking outside Com Centre where there's a straight line at the side of the road and apparently everyone will start queuing from 6pm. Cause like I said, it's illegal to park on normal straight lines from 7am to 7pm right? So on normal days, stand by ah. The road outside Com Centre after 7pm will be flooded with cars. Anyway, here's a question for you guys. If you park here and all four wheels of your car is on the straight yellow line and the bonnet or boot is on the double yellow line, will you get summoned? or only half of the summon. If you know the answers, let me know in the comment section below. And you guys know there's those BTOs that are still under construction or just launched, like this one. The car park is also free here, at least until it's fully done. Once the car park is fully set up and they start to charge for it, only residents will be notified by HDB. Non-residents who park in that car park won't be notified. So if you decide to park in such areas, make sure you're aware of when they start to charge for the car park. Enjoy it while it lasts, man. Besides BTO, some condo showrooms also provide free parking for their customers. But Singaporeans being Singaporeans, anything free also they want, right? Some people take advantage of these condo showrooms for their free parking. Just be careful that your car doesn't get wheel clamped. Hey, you know money, don't pretend you want to buy condo lah. And if you're still unsure whether the car park is free or not, don't worry. You can download the parking.sg app and try and put a coupon through the app and then the app will tell you whether it's free or not. But take note that you cannot check for parking at the roadside. Thank you guys for watching today's episode of my Peeplate series. People say free things must share, right? So don't be selfish if you learned something today about free parking in Singapore. Share this video with your families and friends. And if you know of any more free lobangs, don't be selfish also. Share with me in the comment section. But whatever it is, don't forget to subscribe and tune in next week to find out what I'll be sharing next. In the meantime, if you see me on the roads, don't forget to give me a friendly horn. Bye!